Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm here with this beautiful planner that I received last Monday um, from Van Der Speck or VDS for short. Um, it is so soft. I, I just love the feel of it. Um, this is their new leather that they released, I believe, either at the end of June or at the beginning of July. This is their Jeanette leather in the velvet sand. It does have that velvet suede texture to it. Um, this is the first for me. I don't have a planner that's with this texture. <laughs> um, it was definitely, yeah, new to work with. Um, and it does develop character really quickly um, in terms of like how I use my planners. I do tend to baby my planners a little bit. Um, and this just developed like this spot here if I just open it up this spot here I got about five hours after I received the planner and I have no idea how it happened um, the darker spot there no idea whereas the one next to it was me trying to test it with a little bit of water <laughs> and it did not disappear whereas with my Gilio undies if I accidentally like had a little water droplet on it it will disappear in about like two to three minutes and uh, depending on like the severity of it um, and it's fine so yeah this is definitely a very fragile leather that I'm normally used to um, so what happened then was I actually sprayed it with a protectant um, this protectant here this is the brand I'm not gonna say it because I'll butcher it um, I did see this brand pop up a couple of times on the VDS and Julio uh, Facebook group um, this was actually bought um, intended for my undyed Julio's but I just didn't spray it. Um, normally I don't like to put a protectant on my planner, I just like it to develop character naturally just in the state but seeing how this developed so easily I just thought you know what I'm just gonna put a two layer kind of thing going on and see how it goes. Um, so I sprayed two layers on each side giving it about 30 minutes um, per round um, and the colour hasn't changed I actually um, worked out pretty well. You'll see that my rings are a little bit like dirty but that's actually from the protectant which I'd rather just leave it on. I mean by the time inserts go in you don't really see this part here um, and my spray it doesn't spray quite evenly. It does have that little droplet but if you if you do end up using it yourself, if you see the droplets, don't touch it, don't do anything actually, naturally just lifts off itself, um, just disappears, so I was very happy with that, thank goodness. Um, but yeah, onto the planner. Yes, I I ordered it um, mid-July and it got here last week, so it was about eight to nine week processing time. Um, it is quite long, but I would say right now VDS is super busy. Um, like really a, a lot busier than I've seen them so that is absolutely great for that company they like the quality of their planners are absolutely outstanding um, so if you've emailed them or just like left them a message stuff like that just give it a bit more time because I know it's taken Petra about three to five days to get back to me on some occasions it's just because they're so busy but she will get back to you um, just leave your email as it is they would have received it just check like your sent part in your um, email inbox um, and they will get back because I do know that if you email the email them again on the same chain it actually pushes your email down the list whereas you naturally like build up your place so yeah just give it a bit of time um, and in terms of that so yeah about eight to nine week processing time that is possibly due to the fact that I added um, a flyleaf to my order about a week or two after I purchased this the planner so yeah that's probably why as well um, but in terms of the flyleaf I added the pen loop and I also added a bottom horizontal pocket it was just I found it a bit more functional for my use than just have a flyleaf there and I absolutely do love um, the use of the bottom pocket so as we open up, so in terms of the customizations I went for this planner, um, I opted for secretarial um, slots on the both left and the right side and that's all I did for the pocket configuration. I know, I, normally I do a bit more on the left but I've just left it as it is and just added the secretarials. And then I opted for a chunkier strap and the square corners and then the big 
back pocket so I'll just leave the details down below in the description um, but yeah I absolutely love this planner I don't go for stiffeners at all with my custom VDS's I just I just don't prefer it um, I guess it's up to everyone's personal preference the leather itself it does hold its shape quite well I would say it's a lot more stiffer leather or more structured leather than the TM line that I have like the rose and the um, parm so yeah absolutely stunning I love this like a I would describe this color as like a taupe or like the you know like the hot chocolate powder that you normally sprinkle on top kind of like that <laughs> um but yeah I absolutely love it and I do have 30 millimeter rings in this planner here so let's get to moving in I have moved in before it's just um I went out yesterday and I didn't want to take this planner out just yet so this is my Moterm personal rings in the taupe color so you can see here just like the color it's coming off a little bit gray in my camera for some reason this taupe but um, it's actually a bit more warmer toned to it um, but yeah so let's just move in so I only have three sections in here I'll talk I'll do a comparison of these two like on another video just so I don't drag this video on too long um, so in terms of setup Oh, I've got like my other three sections here because I did only want my inbox dates and personal section in. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna. Um, that's an extra little bit. So this normally goes to the back. I'm just gonna slot it back in for a sec. So this is my uh, flyleaf from Foxy Fix and um, they're currently shut. I think they're planning to open back next year, I think. They've been a bit radio silent. This is just family photos and the plastic cover. This is from WH Smith. But I do know Caspresso Co does something similar. And this is just a laminated um, grid deco piece. And I've just got some sticky notes at the back of that. So that goes in here. I'll fill up my pockets after this um, and then I've got my miscellaneous, my finance and my home section here. So there's that and I'm kind of doing this a bit sideways, um, it's just easier for how I'm standing right now. And then I've got my, ooh, there we go, my personal section and part of my calendar section. Just gonna swish this out. Um, and then I'm gonna do the fly leaf. It'll be easier this way. So the fly leaf here, I've got three pieces. I've got a laminated clear, a clear laminated sheet, and um, this is just to protect my foiled acetate um, sheet from the Crescent Planner. I love her white foil and this like dainty flower uh, florals. Um, she does have more designs, and I do have more from her stored away. I just need to find the place to put it. And then this is my cozy autumn fairy tale. I made this on camera. The, the girl is uh, the digital girl I'm gonna leave the shop name down below because I can't really pronounce her shop name and then the back is just like a cute little grid design um, so yeah there's that just gonna pop it there and then put the fly leaf after it I'll use an ollie clip um, to keep that in place well, I'm gonna put that at the end and then gonna put this section there Ooh. oh boy so this is my inbox my calendar section as well so there's that don't think I've missed anything else that I know of um, so there's that and then I'm just gonna put the ollie clip in place <laughs> I'm just put it to the bottom yeah, no actually, I'll put it to the top. I kind of forgot where I put it normally. So there we go, like the soap. And then I have stuff to put, oops, 
stuff to put in the pocket. So this is just like translucent dots that I get from AliExpress. This cute little um, washi card from Rose Coloured Days. Then this paper Kumako, just like the grid little design I have from her. I don't have much left to be honest. And then it's from Cloth and Paper. This was a freebie quite some time ago. Same with this one here. So this, I'm just going to put it in this little pocket, like so. And then I've got this cute little pin. Um, this is from That's Lovely Deer. Um, this is a pin shop based in Australia and it's um, a guitar themed when it's Starfall. So yeah, absolutely love that. Um, oh, so I'm just going to stick that there, it's magnetic. Um, just put the pin there. I haven't noticed it develop a little mark or anything like that. Um, but yeah, looks fine. So there's that. And then, just gonna do -do -do -do, put the pen in here. This is the Sarasa Grand in the, I think this is like the dark brown. It's got the, um, gold metal. They do offer it in silver but I think I can only find that on Amazon Japan and um, whereas this one I actually got it from Etsy because um, there's no place that I've noticed that sells it in UK um, so there's that and then I've got this. This is one of my favourite highlighters to use although it's like an artist brush pen. This is the Sakura Koi colouring brush pen and it's in the colour um, XBR 45 in the warm grey. Um, I use this quite a lot and you'll see it in my spreads, my daily spreads, I just love to use that colour. Um, it's quite a, like a taupey colour that matches this planner quite well. And then in the pocket here um, I'm just going to put this little and sign. It's got like little rose design on it. Um, I actually don't remember where I got this. I just found it in one of my boxes. <laughs> this is probably purchased about four years ago so yep it's been some time so sorry guys don't know where that is but I just thought it looked cute there and um, this is my freebie from um, Planner Monkey Co. Um, and then I've just got some cute little notes. It's from Georgina and then this is from my boyfriend from our one year. So I'm just gonna put my cute little note here and this little note here. Actually, I'm probably actually I have this in the back. I'll pop that there. Um, trying to figure out where my other notes are. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is a cute little card from uh, TJ Labruno. Labruno. I'll leave her name down below in her shop. I absolutely love her Etsy shop. She does like fandom drawings. This I've just covered up my details. These are freebies from um, Alibi Design Studio from her blog. Um, I'm just going to put this here so emergency contact and then this please return to and then here so I did get asked on Instagram to show these cards. These are from a company that that shut down. I don't actually know what happened because one day their Instagram was there, the next day they're just gone. Um, I'm not really sure so I haven't really <clears throat> mentioned them. So it's just like my routine cards. I've got my morning routine, startup routine, shutdown routine and evening routine. So that's how it looks like. there. So like that. So these cards here, you could do it horizontal way with the title there or you can have it this way where it's lightly in pink here. Sorry, not good with camera angles. Pop that there. Okay. Shut down. Start up and morning routine. So yeah, that's all my card slots filled. And this, I'm just going to pop it here. Um, and I'm going to 
put this little cute card here. This is from Purpose Papery. Then my stars are in like a floral design. Um, there's that. Again, I'll link all the shops down below. I don't think there's anything else I need to transfer over from this planner. Nope, that's it. Um, there's that. So that's the planner here. Very pretty. Um, I've got these two sticker sheets here. This is from Paper and Milk. Um, happy moment. And this is from Planner Monkey Co. It's family time. So I just put that there. And then I've just got this cute little note from a shop where I was buying um, uh, toothless and light fury um, pins. <laughs> so this is really cute. So I just kept that. Um, I'm going to put that in the back. These are stickers from Georgina. Um, her shop is Georgina the Librarian. Librarian. Uh, I cannot pronounce things right now. Um, it's cute little micro stickers. And they're so detailed for being so small. <laughs> Absolutely. So cute. So I've got a few here. I like this little food shop. Like nail polish here. And then last one, it's like a parcel. So they've curved a bit because they ended up in the middle of my spine, the planner spine. So I'm gonna try and keep it to this side here, just so um, I can straighten them again. Got these um, Banana Doodle Shop Etsy stickers because we do love shopping at Etsy. I'm gonna pop that here too. And I think that's me. Has me fully set up in this planner, so oh, better sort that out. It's actually bugging me. Um, so yeah. Oops. Yeah, so these are a little bit shorter. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. That's how the planner looks. Now it can't really lie flat. I haven't properly trained it yet. I can push it down gently. <laughs> it will go flat. It's just I think because this planner is quite stiff. In leather right now just to try and break it in um so yeah this is how it is um absolutely love it there just cute little pieces just to tie in with the setup but yeah inbox section and then i've got my Dates section. Anyway, I'm just kind of going through it a little bit quicker right now, but I will do a full on sit down setup at some point after. Like daily section and then personal. Then this little bit here. And a finance and notes. That's really it. Family photos. I've got nothing in this pocket yet. Um, but yeah. And then in terms of how this planner shuts. There we go. I did not add any extra length to my strap, which I'm very happy that I didn't because it just fits two pens perfectly um, and there's no struggle when I shut the planner. So um, I'm very, very happy with this custom. Um, I'll go through the care of this planner probably in another video because I do have two items that I purchased today <laughs> um, that uh, I think Denise from Lightly Lux showed on her Insta stories to work with um, suede leather. So um, I'm going to see how that goes and I'll do a short little video on that if I get time to do it. Um, and then a full on set of video I'll probably do next. But yeah, I absolutely love, love, love this planner. I do have a list of videos to get through. So yeah, I'll speak to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed that little chatty um, video and it's like a quick setup. So I'll speak to you guys later. Bye.